hungry. I'm bored. Perhaps the most famous. Are we there yet? If you've ever taken a road trip, well, you've heard all of these and more. Road trips are filled with real travel moments from car troubles to endless backseat squabbles. But our next guest is along for the ride to help travelers turn those relatable moments into memories. Iconic television personality and father of four. Alfonso Riviera joins us live from New York with his personal tips on how to smooth out the bumpy road when it comes to travel. How are you? Welcome to the show. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I am so excited to chat with you, too, because I first got to say, though, I just read Father of Four right there. My co-host is getting ready to mm -hmm. expect number three. And the last thing on her mind, I'm sure, is a road trip. I can't imagine four well, little ones in one car. Where do we begin? We, we, uh, first we gotta make sure we got a big enough car for all of us, right? That's the, that's the number one. But, uh, you know, look, road trips are a great way, uh, to get around this country and see. Uh, I, I teamed up with Hampton to create the Hampton Real Travel Road Trip Hotline, where we realized that 77% of Americans believe that it's not about the destination, but it's about the journey. Um, and so we want to make sure that everybody has a great time on this journey. Um, at I think it's just a it's a great thing and but 44 percent also you know get a little nervous about creating a road trip like we're like you're just talking about with your friend uh th that's real so we have answers we can answer those questions uh and and make everyone uh feel just a little bit better about taking that road trip and getting out and seeing america I feel that every time we are in the car, I sometimes find myself reminiscing about road trips that I took as a child and kind of remember being in the back seat playing. Do you have any memories that have kind of inspired you today to be helping other families? You know, I loved being in the car as a kid. I, I you know, my parents, we used to, to go to the Catskills uh, here from New York. And so I loved being in the car. So, you know, I was that kid that, you know, his head was sitting outside the window, just kind of watching everything <laughs> go past. And, um, and even today, I'm still that guy. You know, I love seeing, I love seeing um, America. And uh, so, so the, the memories basically, you know, as soon as, as we teamed up, I was like, oh, this is perfect. Let's let's do this. This will be a great um, thing for me because I really do feel like um, I'm connected to road tripping. OK, well, let's get down to the nitty gritty. How are you helping people? Mm -hmm. Well, we are going to give uh, people tips like music. Music is such an important part of your journey. Um, most Americans love playing rock and roll. I happen to be the other side. I like a little R&B in the car, but that doesn't mean everybody in the car likes the same thing. You <laughs> want to be able to mix it up. So create your own playlist. Everybody in the car ha has a playlist, and you rotate it around the car to make sure that everyone stays engaged the entire time. Those are some great tips. And I know you're actually uh, going to be your title right now, what hotline operator as well. So you're going to be answering the phones, yes. which I see a phone there. You don't see those that often. Where can people <laughs> go for more info? Yes, yes. <laughs> well, they can call us at 866-7-HAMPTON or go to HamptonHotline.com uh, to get all the info they need on our hotline. Well, I know you are a very busy man with all of the things that you've got on your plate now this, but we do appreciate you joining us today.